that had separated themselves. We'll see if they can stay up there. But it's Sindrick who is leading that pack. Austin Dillon looking for a win to get into the playoffs. Running second, Noah Gregson and Tyler Reddick, the top four. See right there, the three car of Austin Dillon. He's starting to fall back from that two car, trying to generate a run, trying to find it. Whoa, he goes. The two almost spins out down into turn one. An issue for the two, he catches it, but now the three out front and the rest of the field trying to reel them back in. Yeah, I think the issue was the three in the back of him getting into the corner. He fell back and got a big run. See, he had this forward momentum, gets into the back of him, entering turn one, knocks centered sideways, and then takes the lead. Well, now it's safe. If we go back to the lead, it's crazy. They're so tight up front. The three leading the eight and second. Can they defend? So, and he's got his teammate. So now Austin Dillon's got his teammate of Reddick behind him. He's got a blocker. Essentially, that's what he's got. So Castle, Noah Gregson, Reagan in the 15, Cody Ware, they've got to develop a plan here. They've got to find David a way Reagan. to do exactly what Austin Dillon did just a lap ago. Fall back a little bit, get a forward run, and then make an aggressive move to try to get alongside. Down the back straightaway. There's a move right there. A lot of cars moving around trying to figure out something. Right Oops. now, nobody, the two car back there trying to make a move. Here comes David, David Reagan. Reagan to the outside of Noah Gregson. He's going to have some help. Cody Ware up there with him, the two car as well. They're going to be side by side here for just a moment, though. That's going to take a little energy away. Now they're clear. Now My what flag. do they do? Here Where's we go. Move? There we go. To the outside. Noah got blocked by the 77. Now a big push coming. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. Austin Dillon out in front. He could be the guy who wins his way into the playoffs in the final race of the regular season. He has his teammate, Tyler Reddick, who's locked into the playoffs. I think Dillon got this. Three behind him. Less than a half a lap to go. Cody Ware running in that third spot. Here comes Cedric in the two. Keep an eye on him. I don't know if he has enough time. And he doesn't have help anymore. It has dropped off as they come out of turn number four. Mark Trex Jr. trying to fight back up there to get in in points, but it's Austin Dillon who wins in Daytona. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, baby. Yeah, yeah I think Truex Tru is out. I don't think so. Yeah, that was, you know. I guess we could say here is that Austin Dillon, Dillon is now a two time winner at like Daytona. That. Incredible save. On what the 500. You you're trying to make the playoffs. 2018. Win at Daytona. He pushed that two out of the way. Took the lead back again. And that gives him the opportunity to do this celebrate at Daytona again. Ha! Ah, ah. I guess see. You're going to sit for a while there also. Oh, good job. Gets it out. This checker flag moment brought to you by Advanced. Imagine Advanced. him doing a burnout in the wet grass. Or it's so muddy. I'm surprised I was able to watch the end of the race. I missed the most portion of it until that big one, and then they had that red flag. Because of the rain, if they got ice, able to watch this. If they got it, because yesterday I was off, With your way uh, into working. The playoffs, if they got it, I was off to, knew to at see the this. Of the day, his goal had to be. And after the rain delay, he comes out and finishes the job.
imagine sitting there for three hours and 19 minutes. That's how long the red flag was when you're out front and then coming out and racing the final 20 laps at Daytona, and he gets the win and the spot in the playoffs, Marty. Austin Dillon, welcome to the playoffs. More gratifying to do it this way by racing for it versus the rain? 100%. Uh, crazy face. My wife was in there. Uh, I told her she was dancing in the rain. I said, I got upset. I said, don't be doing that. She said, Lord, she said, when you have faith like me, you don't have to worry about it. I was like, okay, okay, I got you, baby. <laughs> um, but Ace was back there with me. We were watching Paw Patrol, watching the Carolina Cowboys win the PBR event. They said, hey, go get ready. So we, we stayed ready, and um, I got to thank my teammate, Tyler Reddick, Press Tree, Bass Pro Shops. Everybody that makes this thing happen now who's been with me since my start. We have so many great partners, Chevrolet, Chevrolet, Chevrolet. Um, man, we're in the playoffs. What will be talked about is the playoffs. Also, what will be talked about is a move to get the lead. Walk me through going into turn one with Austin Sindrick. Yeah, there was a lot going on there. Um, I knew that uh, if we got to the white, I was afraid somebody would, if I waited too long, I was afraid somebody would wreck behind us. So I wanted to go ahead and get the lead. Man. Um, we were able to get it. I had a big run to him, and then I had my teammate, the eight, back there. I knew we were in pretty good shape there at the end, and he did a good job checking up any kind of run and just a little too much push there and got him loose, and we went going. How hard was it to stay patient there? I know Pop Pop told you on the radio, hey, don't go until the white flag lap. I knew you wanted to go earlier. Yeah, I just felt like I had good teammates in Chevrolet behind me and that if I could get the lead, that they're, the two would not be able to hold on to the draft. Those small packs are... We've done it in practice enough to know that you, you get lose the tail, it's hard to get back to it. How crazy is it that a body of work of the season, Austin, comes down to getting back on the lead lap right before a rainstorm, dodging a wreck, and then making this happen in the final 21 laps? It's crazy. You just never give up uh, and have faith. Uh, we had some tough finishes this year, like Charlotte, man. I, I beat myself up over that. I made a good move and just didn't finish it off. Today we finished it off, and I'm so proud of these guys, and I'm glad to be uh, going to victory lane. Here at Daytona, of all places, Austin Dillon gets another win, puts the three in the 2022 playoffs, his fifth playoff appearance, Dave.